With Discord's recent announcement of investing a ton of time and resources into AI and the announcement of their new AI chatbot, Clyde, I want to take a little bit of time in this video to talk about where I think the future of Discord is headed with this announcement. And before we get too far in, I want to apologize really quickly because at the time of recording this, it's been my last upload was March 8th. So it's been what, 21 days since my last upload. So literally three weeks. And by the time you guys are watching this, it'll probably have been 23 or so days since my last upload so I want to apologize for the lack of content going up I've been extremely busy over on my Fiverr store and just working with a bunch of different clients even outside of Fiverr I've just been crazy busy and honestly haven't had the time to get around to posting content I'm even really late to getting this video out. I think they announced discord announced this on March 9th um, which was a day after my last upload so I'm almost three weeks late to talking about this video but uh, I got a lot of thoughts I want to talk about so there's not really a script planned or anything so this might kind of be all over the place but I have a lot of predictions on where I think Discord is going to go within these next, uh, the coming months and even the coming years. Uh, with a lot of the stuff they've added recently and this announcement they've posted about their new AI chatbot. And I just wanna talk about where I think they're gonna take things. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and drop a like to help spread the video to others. I promise in the month of April, I'm gonna make sure that I try to upload more than I have this month because this month was pretty bad. So firstly, let's talk about the announcement that Discord posted about their AI chatbot. And then after we do that, we're gonna kind of dive into some of the uh, community's reaction, how the community is taking, what their thoughts are on this new AI chatbot that they're uh, implementing. So just from reading through this Reddit post, it seems like the bot is only accessible in like 1% of servers. So it's a very, very small test. And apparently it's not available in servers of more than 100 people. So it's only available in a very, very small amount of servers. And of those servers, they are very small communities. So there's a very, very good chance that all of you guys watching this have not been able to test this yourself or actually play around with it. But some people have, so we're gonna dive into what they've tested and their reactions after we kind of talk about what this is. So they've announced Clyde. A lot of you guys have probably heard of Clyde. If you ever uh, try to send someone a message on Discord and you're not a friend with them, it will reply back with a message that only you can see saying, hey, they can't see your message blah 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 and you just dismiss the message Clyde's been around but now they actually have him as an AI bot and it's got this new a green AI tag instead of the normal blue or blurple bot tag it's got a green AI tag. So they're using open AI technology for Clyde, which is based off of the chat GPT. If you guys know what that is, um, the very infamous chatbot that people are using like crazy. So let's just show some examples of what kind of things that Clyde can do. So you can basically just chat with it and like you can exactly like chat GPT. Um, you can ask it, this person asked, could you send a GIF to get the server hype? and the bot is gonna send a GIF to try to get the server hyped. Uh, you can basically just have ongoing conversations with it. It can actually create threads for you. So if you wanted to create a thread, you can ask it to create a thread for you. And this person asked it to give uh, five cat facts and it's gonna give them five facts about cats. Uh, it's a lot similar to ChatGPT if you guys have used that or are familiar with it at all. And that's really all there is to it. You just have conversations with it. Um, you can ask it anything. You can probably ask it tips about how to make your Discord server better, things like that. Um, I, I wish I could test it myself to actually show you guys what all it can do and how powerful it is or how powerful it isn't. But unfortunately, I don't have access to it, so I can't do that. So going back to this Reddit post, a lot of people really aren't too impressed impressed uh, with this bot. This person, for example, said they have Clyde in their server, but it's extremely limited on what it can do. It can't analyze anything that you upload. It can't embed anything itself. It won't even remember previous responses unless you somehow make it create a thread, but it can't seem to actually create a thread if you ask it to. You have to do it in a very roundabout way. They say even in a thread, it can't send multiple messages in succession. It can seem to go above Discord's max character limit in a message, but it won't give you the accurate amount of characters that you asked for. They go on to say it also cannot do any timer activities, it seems like it won't ping someone after an allotted amount of time if you ask it to. And last night, after a barrage of questions and tests, it seemed to completely stop working in a thread and it won't give me any more responses. Now, it's obviously still in very early test so that bugs like that are to be expected. Uh, but adding another thread where it can read all messages, it will work again. 
but it will not remember anything from the previous thread. So I imagine it's a single chat BT instance per thread, but I really wonder why it won't read all messages in the parent champ. So anyways, overall, it seems quite limited and not very smart. So that's the community's experience in a nutshell. And just scrolling through this uh, post, I'll link this post for you guys in the, in the description if you guys want to look through uh, what people are saying here yourself. There's a lot of... Uh, there's 67 comments in here, so there's a good bit to read through. Um, some really good info in here if you're wanting to learn more about Clyde. And I'll also link Discord's actual blog post below too. But now I wanna talk a little bit about where I think the future of Discord is headed based off of some recent stuff that they've added. So just a few months ago, we got built-in integrated auto moderation inside Discord without needing a third-party bot you can directly auto mod inside Discord now. You can do things like block mention spam, block suspected spam content, commonly flagged words, set up custom words for you to block, and this new feature that's in testing where you can block words inside people's profiles, which is actually really cool. And I'm gonna cover this in a short on what you can actually use this feature for because it's something I've been wanting for a very long time. But they added that a few months ago. And you, if you guys saw my last video from earlier in March, you'll know I talked about Discord's new onboarding feature, which actually like a reaction role feature so you can come in here and set it up and people can literally get reaction roles by just clicking up here on the channel and when they first join the server they'll be prompted as well if you guys want me to show you what that looks like really quick uh, you can preview it this is what it would look like when you join my server you'll get this pop-up and you can go through and select anything that you're interested in and it will give you access to certain channels and roles just like reaction roles with a bot will so the reason I'm mentioning this is because where I think discord is headed after just from seeing these very powerful features I think in the coming months in the coming years it's gonna take years so we're talking like two to three years down the road I think we're going to see discord start to add all of the features that we know and love from very popular utility and moderation bots think bots like Dinobot, Carlbot, uh, Sapphire, bots like those they're going to take features from them and directly implement them inside to discord to eliminate the need of you even having to go find an external bot to do something you'll be able to do it all inside the server and i imagine that clyde might be one of the bot the things they use it for i'm not sure what their goal is with clyde if they specifically want it to be an ai chat bot or if they're actually gonna and i mean it's an it's an ai bot so i would imagine they can set it up to where you can ask it to do things for you like create a reaction role for this and it can just do that for you that would be really cool if we see that in the future and Clyde might be the the thing that does that for us you know you in the future right now Clyde is very limited on what it can do but in the future imagine if you can ask it to uh, make it to where a the like you have a bot commands channel imagine you can tell the you can tell Clyde make this channel to where people can't send messages they can only send commands and it automatically takes care of that for you that would be really cool. And I really feel like in the future, may, maybe not something that crazy where the bot's doing that for you like that, but I definitely think we're going to see more things like auto moderation, like onboarding, AKA reaction roles being implemented directly inside Discord. And the more that they add, you have to think of it this way. This is a really big money opportunity for Discord because Discord, I mean, they make a ton of money as it is already through Nitro and everything else, but the platform itself is completely free. There's no advertising on the platform at all. So it's completely free. This is another way that they can make a lot of money by setting up all of these different features and eventually charging for these features. Imagine in two years when Clyde AI is fully developed and it's like it can do, it's really a really powerful tool. They charge you a monthly fee for it to be able to run certain commands or do certain features inside your server. I definitely think that's a possibility in the future. If they decide to go full on and add all of these different uh, utility tools that we use other bots, utility bots for, I definitely think eventually they're going to start charging for some of them because it, Discord's a business and they want to make more money and this is a way that they can make more money. But that's where I think Discord's headed. I think in the coming years, they're gonna take all of these features that these other bots have developed over the past five to six years and they're gonna directly implement that into Discord itself to where you don't need to go add a third party bot. You can use Clyde or whatever they wanna call it directly inside Discord and not need to add a third party bot. I could be wrong about all this, you know, that may not be where Discord's headed, but just from seeing them add auto moderation, adding more to auto moderation, and then adding the onboarding feature, I really think we're gonna see more of that over the coming years. And honestly, 
I think I'm here for it. Uh, I, I think I like the idea of that, having everything directly inside Discord and not having to go use a bunch of different bots to get something done that you want to get done. I, I think that'd be really cool to have. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Where do you think Discord's headed? What do you think of the new AI announcement that they made? And if you wanna chat even more, you can join my Discord server. I'll have the link down in the description and in the comments as well. You guys can jump in the server. We can chat about this more. I'd love to get to talk to some of you guys about this. And I'm sorry if this video was kind of all over the place. Like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I didn't have a script or anything for this. I kind of just had all these thoughts over the last couple weeks. And I wanted to talk about them with you guys. So hopefully this video didn't end up being just a dumpster fire. And there's actually a, and it actually makes sense all the way through. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and drop a like to help spread the videos to others. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.